Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I have been gone. <coughs> Excuse me, just had my tea. Now, I've been gone for quite a while. It's been about two months since um, I last did some fishing. And you may know why. Because coronavirus is messing up our plans. It won't let us go fishing. The government, it lets us go fishing in Wales. But you've got to walk. And it's your closest mark, and my closest mark is Conway Estuary. And to be honest, I do not want to try fish it and waste bait. I've still got some crab left over from last year. Still a bit early for the fresh peeler. So I don't really want to use my peeler crab. But where I've been, just in lockdown, just living life, carrying on. I've got a video for you today. And it's from my last video. I was going to add this video. On to the end of the last one but with what was happening I was going fishing the next day and I wanted to have enough storage on my phone to be able to film so I went to move the clips from that session including the video that's coming and I don't know what happened moving the things moving the clips from my phone to the computer it just got a bit messed up and I did lose it so I never ended up getting to put it on, but somehow I managed to find it again. It just popped up randomly on the computer and then I got it back on this phone. And in the meantime, my old phone, you might notice the camera quality is a bit better when I start being able to film the videos next. But um, I've got a new phone now, better phone with better cameras. So hopefully I'll be able to do some good videos, but I've explained where I've been. I've explained this video. So though I will be saying it in the video from like last session and put it on the end of the video and stuff like that but this is just a quick it's about a 10 minute video on how to fill it a cod now i did have some other clips of prepping it but all i've got to show you is how to take the fillers off so hopefully that'll be a good video i'll let it play and hopefully you guys can learn something stay tuned guys right guys welcome to the adb fishing kitchen i'm gonna do a quick video on how i fill it my cod because I've had a few people message me or comment on Facebook asking about seeing how I do it so I thought I'd add it on to the end of this one and then I'll do another episode of me cooking up this guy in some nice battered proper battered fish and it is going to be gorgeous so first off as you can see rig and mortis is set in here so if you just give it a little fish action moving round sort of thing just to get it a bit loose now as you can see I've already gutted it um, sharp blade is the most important thing necessarily you don't need a flexible blade this is one of my dad's sabatio knives uh, which he lets me use for the filleting now this isn't a flexible blade much but I'll show you how I do it now. So to start off how I normally do it, I get the side fin here and where the bone is, you can feel where the bone is, you just want to slice down and follow the head round like so and just work around the bone and once you've made that hole slice it and there you go you can see that cut there that is now free from the main body then what I like to do is the cut you made make sure it goes right down to the backbone so you don't waste any meat now the head if I can get in the light here you can see the line where the pectoral fin goes you want to get your knife in there and follow it as straight as you can along. So I just pierce there. And whilst keeping in contact with the backbone, I just do small back and forth cuts. Now a lot of people like to do long cuts like this. Which works equally as well. And the more you fill it fish the better you get it. I'm a chef as work so I've uh, I've always been around ferreting fish and such. 
And when you get to this last bit, you can see the chunk of meat here, like I'm against the spine here. If you can see that, I've just lifted the meat up with my thumb. And then what I do last is still following the spine. Follow it down the tail. And insert the knife through. Cut along like that. So you see, perfect taking off the fillet there. Then using your knife, turn the board if you want. You just run the knife along the bones, making sure to just take your time with it, there's no rush with it. Now you'll get to the belly bones here, you can feel it rise up here. When it's me personally, I follow them right up, find where the end of them are, so there, cut down. So there we go, most of the fillet is off there. Then when it comes to the belly bones, I don't really do much with the belly meat. So I just follow those pin bones along until you hit the skin. You might be able to see that there. Just where my finger's rubbing there, there's a light patch there and that's where the belly meat skin is. And that's where the end of the pin bones are. So if you put the knife edge away from you and push through the skin, you're able to take it off. And there you go. That is a pristine cod fillet. There is like no meat left on that. Look at that for a fillet taken off. You can see I've gone all along the backbone, taken the fillet off. Now the next side is always the harder bit. So I'll get this fillet in the sink and we'll get this side filleted. So when I started off, I had the fish facing away from me. I had the head of the fish facing away. But now, because I can't do it, if I was left-handed, I'd be able to do it head facing away from me. But because I'm right-handed, you always want to cut away f with the blade. That's just basic knife safety. So doing what I did last time, put the knife blade... in like so, following the backbone, follow it up to the top of the head, just do short cuts, just to get it going, normally whenever I do this I go through the spine, and I end up with um, Half spine, half fleshy fillet. But I'll try and do this one well for you guys. So, same as last time, I'm just going to do the small cuts along, trying to make sure I'm staying reasonably flat with the spine. It's a lot harder once you've taken a fillet off to keep everything straight. So just take your knife blade. It's an okay fillet. Not my best work.
we go. And that's the second fillet. So that is the fully filleted cod. There's like no meat left on it, it's basically all bone. So guys, there we go. That is how I filleted the catch from last session. Now, <laughs> I did say rewatching that footage, it was about half 11 at night when I filmed that and I was absolutely shattered. I'd been out for six hours with hack, uh, pumping worms, then the fishing, then the hour, hour 15 minute drive back from Liverpool. <laughs> um, I was absolutely shattered. And so I did say some things and I, there was, I contradicted myself with knife safety. There's one clip where I cut the tail and I cut towards myself. And then I say, make sure I was cutting away from yourself. So forgive me for my contradictions and some of the stuff that I said where I repeated myself and stuff like that because I was very tired and I wanted to get that video done quickly. Now, unfortunately, I can't do the catch and cook because <laughs> we've eaten all the cod. We've got no more fish left. All the, fi the fish that I caught on my way to, off Hollyhead, I had about 24 fillets of cod and pollock and they're all gone. The codlin that I caught, I got two big fillets off that and they're all gone. So all the fish now is gone. I need, I can't wait now. It's, it's not far until we're able to go fishing again and I'm going to be hitting the place. As soon as those um, crab start showing, I'm going to collect loads of peeler. Gonna be heading back to Mostyn. I'm gonna try and get some place in, and you never know. It's still early, maybe a late cod about. So, I will do a catch and cook for you. Um, my next video, if, if this video does well, I might show how I fill it place. Because when, it, especially when I was starting out first in flatfish, I found it very difficult, but I've got the hang of it now. So, if anyone would like to see that, please let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope it was helpful for you. If uh, you want to see more, please let me know and I'll try and get some other fish to fill up for you. But um, thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, share with your mates and I'll see you in the next video.